Hi everyone, I thought I would have a go at um, colouring in this um, new book that I was um, sent. Um, the publisher sent me this book, I have done a flip through, but uh, I thought I would have a go at one of the pictures. Now it is um, Amazon printed paper, which means that it is um, sort of quite thinnish. I'm just grabbing some paper. What I do is I tend to put a wad of paper under the page. And that sort of helps me and it cushions it and uh, it just helps. Now I thought I would have a go with the Bambino crayons. Now a lot of people are suddenly using these again or have suddenly discovered them. Um, I'm trying to get them out of the box. Come on little crayons. Come out. There we go. I think one of them has got jammed in. There we go. Um, they were recently on a UK TV programme um, called Dragon's Den. I'm not sure if it's a programme that um, that happens all over the place. You can see I use mine quite a lot. And um, this one snapped, unfortunately, but it's OK. Um, and I think it's sort of brought attention to them. And so people are buying them and using them. But I've been using them for ages, ever since Johanna Basswood was sent some. So we're going to start at the top. This is a dandelion tells us this on the page so I am going to grab the yellow and uh, just give it a sharpen now Bambino sharpen just like pencils just pop them in your sharpener it does make the paper go a bit ragged um, on the top look but it doesn't matter and someone also sent me these pencil extenders which work perfectly for Bambino so if this is too they are small it just pops in and sort of stays in but um, this is long enough for me, but I will need it in a bit for my um, green. What I'm going to do is just start applying some yellow on this page and just see what it looks like really, because it's a slightly grayscale picture. Um, I'm just interested. I've also never used Bambino crayons on an Amazon paper before, so I'm sort of curious as to um, how it will... Um, lay down really. That seems fine to me. Seems coming down quite smoothly. Oh, the Bambinos tend to be smooth anyway. Any of you who use them will know. But uh, I just thought it would be fun and to just try something a bit different for a change. I have got other videos with Bambinos which might be a little bit better than this one if you want to see how they work in um, sort of Johanna books or whatever. I'm not sure whether to do these two buds with a bit of yellow because often I'm going to do there. Often you get a little bit of petals coming out of the, and I think I'll do that bit green. Um, I think that's the green bit actually. So I'm just doing the basics at the minute and I'm going to use the slightly darker yellow that we get. We get sort of browny yellow as well as orangey colours to, uh, oops, uh, that wasn't. Part of the picture to put some detailing in in a minute. Now the joy with the grayscale book like this is the details are already there so we can just completely ignore it and just um, colour over the top and just potentially leave it like this. So once I finish this yellow bit here you could just leave it. You don't have to add anything else to it because the grayscaling on it gives you what you need. But I am, because I like to just add a little bit extra, you know me. So I'm going to sharpen the slightly darker crayon. It um, looks like this. They haven't got names, um, so we have to guess which is which. But it's just two yellows, a light and a dark. It's not hard. And put bits of this um, near the bottom of each petal. Sorry, excuse me just had a little snack. I don't normally snack, but I was feeling a bit bleh. Um Sorry for myself, should we say. And I realised I hadn't eaten properly today. So I just grabbed a snack and a cup of tea. Feeling really not better. I was just uh, had a bit of low blood sugar, I think. And uh, we can use this brown to just emphasise those extra dark areas. Can see all the bits of yellow that I've missed as I do this too. <laughs> but never mind, that's okay. Like that. 
I am just going to go back in with the other yellow. And as I said, I saw those bits that I missed here and there. I'm just going to go back over. There we go. And then we can do the same with this one. Just do the bits that you think are in the shadows. It might look complicated. It's sort of like a Kirby Roseanne book or a um, Circle of Life. Um, a name very long complicated name um, where it feels really complex because of the grayscale in there but once you get in there start coloring you can see that it's actually helps you okay so there's our yellows right next I am going to go in now I don't know what color to do this this is like the root hang on let's zoom out a little bit for you um so this is like the root here I'm not sure what colour that sort of tubery root is. I'm pretty sure it's just green like the um, plant. We're going to do all the stems. Um, I'm going to start with my um, lightest green, like I did with the flower. Go over all the greenery in light green, just sharpening it up, hopefully you can hear. And then I'm going to use my extender for this one because he is a teeny tiny. Oops, sorry, wrong way. I'm going to zoom out a bit more. So I'm going to do all the green with this one, like I did all the yellow, and then we'll do some darker green. There's quite a fine line here. It's fun, this. The paper is nice, I think. Now, I'm not, I've never got any sort of objections to Amazon paper. I'm used to using it. I've had a few books, some um, Dominique Stopas books are on Amazon paper and uh, they're all good for me. Um, I know that the American Amazon paper can be a bit different and I guess that will be the same for other countries too. So that could be an issue for people. I have got one with American paper and it's a lot more toothy. It just means it suits different types of pencils really. I think it might be quite, is quite good with pen, but obviously I don't often use lots of pen what you use. Now uh, these bits are white so uh, actually that bit might be yellow because those look like petals. I have a think about that one I'm carrying on with this. Now you could do backgrounds on these um, or anything you want really but uh, I'm not going to not on this picture anyway, I'm just going to keep it really simple. Just because it's my first time colouring in the book and uh, I just want to experiment really, see what it's like, see what effects we can get. Knowing that it works well with these crowns is really cool. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, my voice is going to, I've got a bit of a sore throat that's so why I'm feeling sorry for myself, but it's not really um, nothing serious. It's probably just from talking and not having a enough cups of tea but uh, anyway oh it's getting a bit loose I just push it into the pencil extender a bit harder I don't want to lose it I don't know where this pencil extender came from I know Bambino used to sell extenders with their crayons in sets I don't know if they still do but um, someone sent me this as a gift and um, I don't usually use pencil extenders but um, it really helps with this crayon because it, it I think it's because it's thin as well as small that it gives me cramp in my hands and badly and pencils I can normally cope with and actually weirdly fat pencils give me more cramp than thin pencils I noticed that I think it's the um the Arteza experts I think and the Castle Gold a bit thicker than some other pencils and the Holbein's as well and they give me more finger cramp compared to like the polychromos it's just what you're used to, isn't it? Perhaps I grip them too hard. Well, I'm sure I do. So anyway, and apparently I hold my pencil in the most strange way ever, according to my sister. She says it makes her feel pain looking at the way I hold my pencil. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think this is quite... 
I wonder, I was wondering when I was looking through this book whether these pictures, is this taken from a um, an old book? I wonder whether the pictures were grayscale or whether they were colour and the, the publishers have turned them into grayscale pictures, if you know what I mean. I wonder if there was colour there. I'd probably not because this is really white here. So. Now this is a little bit pale for a dandelion leaf, but um, I've only got the two greens, so it gives me little choice, which in a way is really good, because you just got to get on with it. You, uh, you know, I could, you can mix greens, which I'm going to have to start doing when these greens run out in this little set. Um, the blue, there's a greeny blue, which is quite dark, which if you mix with yellow, it makes green. Um, obviously you know, I'm sure you know that blue and yellow make green but um, the crayons um, blend nicely so if you put um, one on top of the other you do get a blend so uh, it's, oh there's the sort of tube a bit there I'm sure they're green when I pick them all white I think I'm going to colour it green or else it'll just look like I couldn't be bothered I've got this idea for the, um, the seed bit as well so obviously our seed's going to be white. So uh, I'll show you later. Get on with these leaves. But my flip through of this book only went up today. But um, I th thought before I sort of popped it away, I would do a um, do a colouring from it. Well, it, I've got the two books. But I thought I'd just do the colouring from one of them. Day. do another one another time but, uh, I do like colouring botanicals which is why when I was offered this book I said yes it's quite fun to um, do something that's sort of more realistic I and mean, obviously with my limited colours it's not going to look right but it's still a lot of fun there's lots of opportunities to do different things in here and I was quite excited to see there's quite a few berries as well because it's almost like the sort of book which shows all the different parts of the plant the root, the seed, the flower, the berry you know. so obviously dandelions well I say obviously dandelions don't have berries not all of you may not have come across dandelions I don't know how um, what, how far around the world they spread they're certainly very resilient here there's loads at the minute along the canal path. Um, there, um, me and my son were being acting like children, walking along there, kicking the the seed heads, and I'm um, watching the seeds spread all over the place. My mum used to get really cross if I did that near her garden because she didn't want all the dandelions seeding into her lawn. But um, we figured as we were along the canal path, and um, they were growing all over the place, and it's all what for the wildflowers. It didn't really matter. And the wind would do it anyway. It's not like someone was going to come along and dig them up before that happened, which is what my mum always used to do, chop all the flowers off quickly before they um, went to seed so that she didn't get more plants growing. I'm sure any gardeners among you would probably have done the same thing. Okay, we haven't got that. We've got the underside of this leaf to do. Got a lot more left now, have we? But I... I sort of like dandelions in some ways and not in others. I think because I've been grown up being told they were a sort of pest. And we used to be, as children in school, silly thing. You say if you picked a dandelion, you'd wet the bed. I have picked dandelions and I've not wet... The, well, I'm sure I did wet the bed <laughs> when I was young, but not, <laughs> not lately. So, uh, no, I, I'm not sure that's true. But um, it sort of sticks in your head, doesn't it, as a child? You sort of almost get worried. I better not do that. I think I'm going to do some of these um, rooty bits in brown. The um, just, just so that it looks a bit different. Right. I'm going to do some brown now, actually. I'm going to do the rooty bits brown and... Just notice that bit. I could do with a bit more colouring. There we go. And... Um, there's a dark brown and a lighter brown. 
I think I'm going to go with the darkest. And I'm also going to do the seeds. I'll show you. It's out of shot. Um, the very end of the seed pod, the seed thing there, those are usually brown. It looks quite black. And we've got huh, those. I think those should be petals. So I'm just going to do those. This one and this one. And over here, I think I'm pretty sure this should have been yellow too. And then I'll grab this other darker yellow just to add a little bit. Bacon messing around. Sorry, wipe my nose. I think I'm getting a bit of a cold or something. I don't know. Hope not. Right, brown. So the very dark brown. Here we are. And I'm going to do. I did, as I said, I did the end of the seed. And now I'm going to do the root part. You can't see this one. And down here, like that. And then this one. All of these sort of rooty bits. And we do have a white crayon, so potentially we could do some white bits, but I don't think it'll stand out because the paper is really white. I'm just not convinced that these roots are right now I'm doing them. But hey, I don't know what other colour they would be though. I guess googling it before I started might have been useful. <laughs> Never mind. If you want to do it exact, go and look it up. I think it's fun. Just check you can see. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I nearly started singing or humming then. Mustn't do that. I knew that if I came and recorded something I wouldn't feel so sorry for myself and it would cheer me up. It really does work. Right, the oh dropping my crown. The darker green we're going into now. I've got a lot of darker green areas to do. I'm gonna try and follow the um the guidance from the drawing. I will zoom in and I will try and remember to move the book around. I hope you didn't see my face then I pulled a face because I get scared so I don't always remember let's start with this rooty bit and all these really dark areas I'm going to go over with the darker green and it's really easy I'm just following the uh, following the guide but so it tells us exactly what to do now you could make it up yourself have to follow it exactly as it is but uh, as I say it's my first picture I'm just going to follow it can you see that bit yeah so where it's darker I shall put more layers of dark green and where it's lighter I should just put a little bit there we go that's it simple now we shall do um, we'll do this stem here, and it seems to me to be darkest along this side here. And that's what I'm going to follow. And then I'm going to move across to that stem. Ooh, out of the lines. Never mind. No one noticed. Now Bambino crayons do erase with an normal eraser, but I think there's a risk of smudging because there's not a lot of tooth on this paper. I'm going to try it. Except, oh, there it is. I thought someone had eaten my eraser. The Tombow Mono is my tool of choice and actually works rather nicely. It's my brush. There we go. Evidence removed. Now, where do, do we do this one? Not sure. I don't 
think I did. Here's this one. Now here there's quite a lot. Are you still in shot? Yeah. I'm just going to do little tufty movements. Can you see what I mean? Just strokes, upward directional strokes. And then again just follow the markings that have been made for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I don't want to make these too dark on the stem, especially where they cross over the leaves. Oops, pencil's fallen out of the pencil extender. Um, because um, the leaves need to sort of look darker because they're behind. So I'm just doing a vague bits and bobs really, just a little bit. There we go. And then we'll concentrate on this leaf. So as you can see, the uh, marking all tends to be along the edge of the vein. And this is quite interesting if you think about when you're colouring any leaf. If you want the vein to stand out, if you colour each side quite darkly, it will have that effect. So that it doing this would sort of help with other leaves and colouring as well. I've missed a bit there in the lighter green. Okay, it's better. Okay, so that's that leaf. We've got this little bit here of leaf. So I'm just going to do that. And I'll try and fade it a bit. I don't want it to look like a... Now this one's quite dark. I'm going to do quite a lot of it, but I don't want it to be a sudden end like that. So it'll fade it a bit so that it there isn't a line where my green stops a sudden line. I want it to sort of slowly fade towards the edge of the leaf although this one's quite dark so I'll probably put quite a lot of dark on all of it there we go got that little bit there which continues into this let's actually move that across we can do this whole section and it really is just a case of following those dark lines and then just fading that colour right from the centre it's very relaxing, not much thought. So if you like simple colouring where you don't need to think too much about shading, then this sort of thing could be really helpful. Um, let's go along here. And along here. Quite fun. Oh, we've got this little turned over bit. So I'm just, excuse me, doing a quick grumbly. It's been my snap getting through. I am. Um, what did I have? Yeah, a bit of leftover couscous. <laughs> it's got all stuck in my teeth as well, this bit. These look a bit lettuce -y, don't you think? I remember picking dandelion leaves to feed to my friend's... Um, is it a rabbit or a guinea pig? My goodness. I was 11, so uh, I'm, I'm 48, nearly 49. So, uh, quite a long time ago. I don't like to think in terms of how many decades ago things were. It's a bit scary, but um, I try to be positive and think, you know, the amount of things that I've learned over the years, it's fantastic having all that knowledge that I wouldn't have had. You know, I certainly wouldn't want to go back to being really young. Okay. I'm doing the same thing on all of these and just following the black indications. I'm not and then necessarily explain to you exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, so I try and be positive and think about, you know, all the things that I've learnt. And I don't feel, 
apart from feeling a bit sorry for myself today, I normally don't feel my age, I don't feel old, I feel energetic, I have enthusiasm, you know, I feel like I'm on the ball, I understand things still. I mean, yes, when my kids come home and start talking about calculus, no, but that isn't because my understanding isn't um, is disappearing on me, it's something that I never um, um, knew. Just trying to work out what this is going on here. So I've got the end of a leaf here and this one, it's going under there, isn't it? It's that leaf. I've gone out of the lines again really badly. Let's give it an erase. This paper is quite smooth, which I think makes it easier to erase because there's no tooth for it to sort of tumble into. Right, we've got these last bits and bobs to do. Now, Trying to get a little bit ahead in videos. I always seem to be trying to get ahead, but it's fine. But um, I've got my parents visiting soon, which is going to be nice, just for a day, um, part of a day actually. So um, that'll be nice. In fact, they haven't phoned me today. She phoned me every day. Wonder if they're out. They've started going out again a bit more now. So that's uh, nice. But they're coming to visit, so forward to that to be the first time they've visited since um, probably the very early beginning of 2020 so yeah I haven't seen they haven't seen the house I've seen been to see them they haven't come here I'm just looking to see if there's any more to do I shall zoom out so you can have a look with me and you can sort of see how it's looking so far Oh, we need to go out a bit more. It's quite big, isn't it? There we go. I'm going to give it a brush. Make sure I've done all of the areas, which I think I have. But we haven't done the seeds. Now, the centres of the dandelions can be quite grey. So I think I'm just going to apply a little grey to this in the areas where it's already dark. I'm sorry, I've zoomed out, so you can't see. But... Um, This grey is quite dark, so I'm going to try and make sure I'm really light-handed with it, if I can be, like that. And that's it. Leave it there apart from erasing where I went out the line. Now, our clock, our, I, we call it a dandelion clock, the um, seed pod, I decided I'm going to do in a sparkly gel pen. This is a Castle Arts one. Um, I don't know where my Sakura one is. But uh, I thought I would just go over all the lines with some sparkles because um, I'm not doing a background so I can't do them in white to make them stand out that way. So I thought I could make them stand out with some sparkles. So I'm just basically very roughly covering some of the lines. I don't want to cover all of them. I'm not because this pen, actually I don't think this pen's got any um, gel. It's just basically a glue glitter glue pen with no gel in it so it shouldn't colour anyway but that's that and then these two here have got a few bits of seed in though we haven't done this stemmy bit hmm. the stemmy bit on this bottom one is just black perhaps we should do it brown it's going to be tricky to do it now we've got all glitter around it but I'm going to do my best so that dark brown Gonna fill in the stem. There we go. So I think we are finished. I'm just having a little look. So that's our um, Bambino crayon dandelion. I think that was fun. Let me just show you the glitter because uh, I haven't got my light on. Hang on. I don't know if you can see it. I can't. Mm, I don't know if it's going to show up at all, but there we go. There is our dandelion. So as I say, put a wadge of paper under to um to support the book, and then um and then you can get um whoops, and then um it works perfectly fine. And I think most people have a wadge of um of office paper 
oops, wrong way. I'm trying to zoom out for a photo, take a photo, and that for my um, thumbnail, and uh, while I'm waffling on. But um, anyway, now you can see all the mess on my desk. <laughs> lucky you um anyway thank you so much for watching i hope that was fun i think the pages are going to be ever so quick how long was i doing that for oh a fair fair amount of time but i think um the bambinos took a little bit longer just because they aren't that sharp but uh, i think it's going to be quite a fun book to have a play with so um thank you very much for watching i hope that was okay for you um enjoy the rest of your day look out for a video later today though and happy coloring <laughs>